So today I'm going to do a bit of an alteration of my Impossible RimWorld series, which only lasted two episodes because it was pretty impossible. I think a mod that I was using Rimmore really messed that up, and I'm going to try this next playthrough without Rimmore. Even though I think it's one of the coolest mods that's ever been invented, I think it has some balance issues that need to be addressed. I was looking through the comment section, and like this guy talks about how he was rated by 40 Ultra Tech soldiers with power armor, blah, blah, blah. And I think the mod makes you get rated by people that are just too high tech. Because I was playing as a tribal faction, and I I was getting raided by people with guns like a lot of them so yeah in this playthrough we are going to do the really high difficulty settings we're not going to play on rimmore though here's our starting scenario so we are going to be starting naked as usual but to make this go a little bit quicker paced we're going to be starting with three people and we have a pretty good amount of tech with new squad we start with micro electronics and some turrets as well we're going to need a defense because i made it so we get raided every three days but we also get a orbital trader arrival every three days as for our storyteller we're going to play with void and we're going to be playing on losing his fun with 500 percent threat scale the only other other changes we're going to do are lower colonist instant kill down to zero and scary rot down to zero. I'm also playing with an enhanced texture mod that was just released and it's going to make the game look a little bit different as well as our map looks a bit different. I wonder if we should start in a random starting site. I think that might be the play. Oh and I just actually did select a random site. It was a tropical rainforest down here somewhere. I wasn't paying attention but um, yeah I'll just leave this part unedited. Where is it though? Oh it's over here. Okay cool. So it's right next to this tribe. It's a bit too close to the tribe though, which that's the only person that we don't want to piss off because we're actually friendly with these guys. So I think what we'll do is we'll start here and then we'll move like two tiles away just so we are respecting the random starting site, but then we don't have to piss off these tribals because they're the only ones we're going to be able to trade with and then we can trade with these guys too. But yeah, everyone else in this area is going to be extremely hostile and yeah, we're going to be starting in a tropical rainforest apparently. And yeah, every 15 days we're going to lose 20 with the Alliance of Kai, but we'll fix that early on so here's our eight random colonists we're gonna be getting oof 91 years old on this girl already that's not a good start she has dementia a bad back so that's one person yeah you're out of there i go so we get to choose three of these eight people i hope we get a good combination of oh, bad back already okay two bad backs artery blockage not ideal this person's actually potentially good though she's got a green thumb and she's got the really overpowered green thumb trait which gives her tons more harvest yield and work speed there's two versions of this one is in the additional traits mod yeah she's gonna be really good at planting and research too and she's also semi-decent and medical and she's also a fortune finder which increases her plant harvest yield by 10 percent more so she's gonna be getting so much plant harvest yield she is volatile though and she also has a scratch scar on her left eye so she does have lower sight which i believe does affect her planting and then again like this is the first girl i've actually analyzed so we could get some better people like okay this girl's herculean which is a heroic trait not a god trait this trait also adds double to her market value which i don't know if that's going to be worth although the lower mental break threshold is going to be nice she basically cannot have a mental breakdown so maybe yeah it is worth to have her she also gets some extra armor and she can shoot so maybe we'll have this girl be our fighter but yeah let's go over to the other guys like this guy has five traits so i made it so you can have anywhere from three to five traits and this guy has a mix of good and bad ones though like greedy is not good he wants a really impressive bedroom deep sleeper is interesting combined with quick sleepers so a deep sleeper you can't actually wake up someone if they're sleeping and yeah they'll just sleep through anything this guy's actually good at social by the way intimidating gives him a social boost he starts with 10 social is he good at anything we need though i don't know this is gonna be hard because we gotta look at the other guys too and like see what we're gonna get here i mean aiko is 91 this girl is a bad back and denison has already blockage which isn't that bad but it could lead to his early demise so we're probably not gonna want the bottom three of these people even though aiko has freaking 13 in shooting and 17 in melee like imagine this 91 year old meleeing people down with her dementia and her bad back she'd probably forget who she's even fighting for but yeah maro is really good with animals he's an animal friend which gives a more tame and trained animal chance only five percent though he's a psychopath i don't really think we care too much about this guy like do we want someone with animals in mining yeah that'd be nice i guess but i'd say it's not really necessary like having this girl with the green thumb trait so we can harvest a ton of trees and then this girl can build traps with the trees we harvest that could be a good combo the question is who do we want for a third person i guess so do we want godriff the guy who's good at social he's a really deep sleeper he's gonna want a good bedroom he's got a burning passion for medical animals and he also likes to craft as well though which is good no one else has crafting compulsion gives him 160 percent xp at crafting too plus he's a decent learner so that's gonna be 185 percent speed at crafting that is super quick in leveling that up i think yeah this guy's gonna be good because he can recruit other people that we knock out so i think we got a pretty good combo here the only thing we're really missing is a cook this dude 
it actually can cook with three cooking, but we could just make a nutrient paste dispenser right away. Do we have any mining though? This girl can mine barely, I guess. I mean, yeah, four mining's not bad. So yeah, let's just go with these guys. There is a slight alteration we're gonna do to these people though. First of all, we're gonna change their names. Shout out to the people on Patreon. So I renamed to character names that were suggested by the patrons and I did an alteration on Hatsune Miku. I couldn't really resist on this one based off of her character build. But yeah, first thing we're gonna do immediately is just leave this area and we're gonna have Savant actually harvest these berries first. And we get quite a lot of berries from doing that with Savant's green thumb trait plus the fortune finder trait. And as we're leaving, is there anything else we can harvest? There's actually a bunch of berries over here. Maybe we should grab those. And all right, we're out of there. We're heading over to this tropical rainforest, large hill tile. I would really like to get way over here to this other large hill tile where there's gonna be a lot more hills, but it is pretty far away. And Savin's already kind of in a bad mood. So I think our best bet is to resettle here. Oh no, and I messed up really bad. So I settled on the tile next to this one. And the reason why that happened is because I didn't wait for them to get all the way to this tile. And here's the map. As you can see, there's nothing that looks all that defensible. Like we could build a base in here maybe. You know what, screw it. We're just gonna leave. We're gonna grab these berries. We're gonna have Savant harvest some more. And we should definitely have enough food to make it over there. It's gonna take us 0.7 days because it is hard to move through this tropical rainforest. It says it's gonna take 0.6 days and people wanna sleep, but we can have them just force march and we'll actually get there much quicker. The only problem with doing this though is they're gonna be really sleepy once they get there. Yeah, like max rest is really low and their mood's gonna start going down by quite a bit. Although Fatsune cannot have a mental breakdown. And here we go, we made it to our destination. I'm actually gonna save before I do this just because I do not want to mess up and like founder colony here. When it says you've made it to your destination though, then you're safe to settle usually. So we should be fine. And yeah, these guys nearby are not gonna like this, but we're negative 76 hostile with them anyways. So who cares? All right, so here's what we got to work with here. You can see there's a lot more hills and stuff that are gonna be pretty defensible. Like we could just make a base in the middle here. That might be the play. I will say in the center here, there is a ruins already built. There's a lot of flooring that's already set up for us. So it'd be pretty easy just to wall this in and get a base set up. So I guess we're gonna do that. And one thing I will say is it's raining, which is gonna really lower everyone's mood. Savin's in a really bad mood. We're gonna have him just chop some trees immediately before he has a mental breakdown. Cause yeah, his mental break threshold is really high. If his mood goes below 50%, he can have a mental breakdown because of his trait volatile, which increases his learning rate, but increases his mental break threshold as well. It's gonna be really hard to keep this guy happy basically. I think we have him harvest berries first, then we have him chop a bunch of trees down. Mainly just trees in the area that we're trying trying to build in, I guess. So anything that's in this area that we're trying to build in, in this ruins, we're gonna want him to cut all that down. Fatsune really does not like planting. She's got a major aversion to planting. So with her, I was thinking we'd have her focus on deconstructing some of these ruins, but I think on second thought, Savant will get a ton of wood from chopping down these trees. So I think we'll just have her wait. Like one tree should be, okay, never mind. That was no wood for that. 12 wood for that one. That was a really small tree though. We're also gonna make it so everyone's working right now. Like no one can rest. And so yeah, everyone's gonna band together here and try to get this room made, preferably before people start having mental breakdowns. Let's actually of seven to start cutting the main trees they're going to be giving us wood like this bamboo tree is 97 percent grown that one i guess was pretty grown too because they gave us 22 wood i don't know by the way if we need to cut like the bushes i think that's a waste of time i think when you floor stuff in it will automatically cut down the bushes so i don't think that's even necessary and overall i think it's just like a waste of work but yeah second thought we're just going to try to wall this in asap just so we can have people asleep in a bed because yeah seven's in a really terrible mood He's got a minor aversion to his work. He hates plant cutting. That's gonna make it even harder to keep him from having mental breakdowns because he's really good at it. So like he will be constantly cutting down trees and he's always gonna have that minor aversion to his work. So that was a bit of an oversight, I think. I will also say that usually with researchers, it's easy to keep them in a good mood, but I think compulsion doesn't actually give a mood bonus. It's basically just like he has this compulsion meter and we need to keep this full or he'll have a bad mood, but I don't think there's any mood bonuses for keeping it full. Yeah, we made a bed by the way, so that's good. We could have Savant just sleep, although we need more wood is the only thing. Mac needs to sleep too. He's in really bad moods. Oh, we got a ton of wood, by the way, from those trees. Okay, yeah, we can have Savant sleep now. I will say it's going to be an actual miracle, though, if he doesn't have a mental breakdown. We're going to have Fatsune try to wall in this base, finish walling in. There's actually just one more wall. And then build roofs over where they're sleeping so they're not getting rained on. 
and then work on the floor. We just need to floor this place in. She's gonna work pretty quickly because she does have 10 construction. And the main thing is we just gotta finish flooring this area in because every floor that we put in here is gonna increase the room's impressiveness. It's slightly impressive right now. That's actually not bad. If we can bump it up to, I believe it's like 65, I think we can get up to somewhat impressive. We're at 61 right now. 62 from adding that floor. They're flooring in a little bit more. We're at 63. There's actually some urns outside. We'll just move those inside. And there we go. We're at somewhat impressive now. For just one urn, we'll just bring them all in here though. And now Max Mood is going to be pretty good when he wakes up. He just needs to fill his food bar and his recreation bar and he'll be good. How about Savant? He's actually going to be in a pretty good mood too. Once he gets recreation and he eats, he'll be in a decent mood. Especially if we can allow him to eat in this room and do some recreation in this room. Because it's a nice room and that'll give him even more bonuses. We have 50 wood left. With 10 of it, we're going to build a horseshoe pin inside. I think we can build it like here. I'm pretty sure that's okay. We should also move this urn out of the way too. But we also need to put a table in here or they'll get the dreaded eight without table mood lit, which we do not want. Let's just build a stool for now. Fatsune is going to build that and the wooden horseshoe pin. And then I believe in one of the other ruins, there should be a table. There usually is. Way down in the very bottom left corner of the map, there is a table, but we could have Fatsune just deconstruct one of these steles and then build a table out of the marble. That might be a good idea. I will say though, it's going to take a while. It takes 70 work to make a marble table. Although it's actually not going to take Fatsune that long with her 10 construction. And by the way, we have a trader over here. I wonder if we could trade them anything. Like, will they buy some blocks maybe that we've deconstructed from these steles? We could actually deconstruct this one too. These guys will sell us grapes and wine and that's it. So yeah, no on that. Fatsune was also hogging all the berries. We're going to have Mac eat some of those and Sabin's going to eat some too. I'm really surprised that Sabin has not had a mental breakdown yet, but he's okay for now. He is doing some meditation and I believe when he's done with this, he'll get slightly impressive rec room because this is considered recreation oh then yeah, crap Savant had a mental breakdown that's unfortunate so we're not gonna have a planter for a while until he snaps out of it although i will say mac does have really high social so he might be able to convince Savant to snap out of this mental break this interaction is based on social skill and fatsune by the way is in a really bad mood she's at zero percent she could have a mental breakdown actually i forgot to change it so she's not working full time she's actually potentially gonna have a murderous rage here something really bad because she's at zero percent actually please Fatsune make it back. Okay, she's at 2% now, and she's good. Okay, phew. I didn't see, by the way, with Savant's... Oh, he got food poisoning. I guess Mac was not successful at calming him out of his mental break. So we're gonna have a little downtime now. Mac is starting to cut some berries. I don't know if we want that, though, because we'll get much less yield for letting him do that. I'm wondering what we should have him do right now, because we have 1.2 days until our first raid. We get raided on day three. I think we probably have him focus on crafting, because it would be good to make a bow. We need two crafting for a bow. The question is, what materials do we have him craft out of? There's an option to have him make throwing rocks, and I believe he can do that that with I guess the marble blocks he only uses one block to make throwing rocks out of it and it takes him a while too so yeah we'll just have him do that and that's gonna level up his crafting skill he's already at crafting one actually okay yeah that's definitely the play we'll also have him do it outside just so he crafts them slower because you get a crafting penalty for working outdoors the speed at which he crafts does not affect how much skill he's getting so we want him to actually craft slower because we don't really care about those throwing rocks the main thing is we just want to like, grind up his crafting skill as quickly as we can I can't believe I completely forgot about this but since we have a trader here we should use them to help us take on like an ancient danger maybe there's an ancient danger down here in this limestone wall if we open it up or what we could do is have the trader help us take on this dinosaur like creature we gave fatsune some of these throwing rocks we actually need to give her some primitive ammo too which is funny we made this out of wood and so now she has to reload her throwing rocks which it makes no sense but we're just gonna suspend our disbelief there and yeah we're gonna start tossing these rocks at this giant alligator thing we're gonna hope at manhunters there's a okay 218 percent chance at man hunters so let's throw it max range mac just go inside and there we go it's man hunting and it's gonna attack the trader let's see if there's any more dinos on this map by the way after yeah they can take that crucisaurus i'm pretty sure and the trade caravan's leaving we did not make good use of that trade caravan by the way that was not the best i am noticing by the way oh and we lost relation with these guys the evm empire oh this is the empire they're so tribal though oh they're not the actual empire they're just calling themselves the empire the exodus dominion is the actual empire so we don't really care that we lost relation with those guys too much the evm empire is this medieval faction way down here and we're not going to really be caring about our relation with them too much because they're pretty far away and we could still trade with them eventually but there's a lot of hills in the way and it's going to take a while to get down there so yeah before these guys go 
Let's see, there is this Titanus over here that moves really fast, 8.2 movement speed. So I don't think we want to take that. Pretty sure Fatsune could not outrun it. And crap, these guys are leaving. No, not yet. You guys still have more work to do. These guys are actually heading down to the Ancient Tome, although we're not going to be able to make it down there. So yeah, we're just going to let them leave. If we get another trader, then we'll have them open that up. But yeah, the trader did end up helping us out quite a bit. It was able to kill this Prusasaurus for us. Also, it gave us this longbow too, which is really nice. And this guy's a lot of gear on him. Unfortunately, we can't use that because it's tainted. The Fatsune might actually be able to wear it because she's Shikulian. And so those going to give her negative mood loots. It's pretty much impossible for her to have a mental breakdown. Her mood is really bad right now, though, because she needs food and she needs do some recreation so we'll let her do that first before we strip this guy and holy cow by the way this prusasaurus has 292 leather and 562 meat so we're gonna be able to use that leather to make some clothing out of which is gonna be nice and there we go Savin actually broke out of his mental breakdown which is good timing considering we have a raid coming in 0.8 days he does still have major food poisoning though so he's probably just gonna sleep off the food poisoning and meanwhile fatsune is now in a really good mood we're gonna have her strip this guy and then pick up his body because she's a freaking beast she's consuming him i mean there's pemmican on the ground we'll just have her eat that we're just gonna drag his body though off to like way over here and then just drop it and hopefully she won't see corpse nice she did not there's like a chance where she can see the corpse and then sometimes she doesn't which is weird she had him in her inventory under her rolls of fat, I guess. And she could not see him. But yeah, we're gonna have her grab the longbow. She does have a natural genius for shooting. So she's always gaining XP in the skill no matter what. Like every few seconds on normal speed, she'll get four XP. It's not crazy, but it's still something. The main thing though is she does learn it at 100% efficiency, which is good. And then she's also intelligent, which increases her learning rate by 15% more. So she's gonna learn shooting really quickly. Let's also eject the ammo out of the throwing rocks and we'll use that for the bow. And there we go. Bow is fully loaded up. We'll also have her grab this armor and we'll have her put that on she's gonna be really tanky actually not only is she gonna look tanky but she's also gonna be the part got the tabard and the shoulder pads and yeah wearing all that tainted gear gives her negative 14 mood but that's not phasing fatsune it's gonna take a lot more than that to affect her mental state but yeah savin's back up and adam even though he is in catharsis now for a 40 bonus mood his mood's still pretty bad once he gets over his food poisoning and actually yeah it's at recovering now his pain will go down that's giving him negative 10 right now so that's a big reason why his mood's in such a bad spot since Savin also has a compulsion for intellectual, he's getting a negative six mood because his compulsion meter is at zero now. To the west a bit, it's actually really convenient. There is a bunch of iron ore. We're gonna have Fatsune mine out a little bit of that with her for mining. We actually only need 25, I believe, and we can make a research bench with that. We're also using a new resource mod. So there is like iron, bronze, and some other materials, and I'll go more into those later. It's not too crazy complex. It just changes up a few things regarding building materials. We're also gonna have Fatsune make Make a marble stone campfire in here and this thing's more wood efficient than a regular campfire because it is pretty cold in here it's 57 degrees inside and Savin actually slept in the cold and it's chilly in here we should also make him some clothing too I keep forgetting to do that and that'll fix his naked moodlet by the way he's in a really good mood he I guess no longer has food poisoning so yeah we should definitely have him start chopping some trees and we're gonna need those trees to make some traps ASAP um, oh okay I messed up cuz yeah we're getting raided it's only by two people though I will say Fatsune has a ton of range with her bow and she does have three shooting i'm guessing she's gonna miss oh, okay she hit her first shot nice job fatsune mac also has 10 melee so we're gonna come over here with a wooden whatchamacallit oh we killed one of them already i'm surprised comero is still coming she's actually a jogger too so she's moving quicker we're gonna have fatsune running gun and try to kite a little bit i did nerf running gun if you guys are new to like my whole settings and stuff i do want to make a mod list by the way and explain like my settings but i did nerf it so that if they're using running gun they're moving a bit slower please finally hit nice she hit a really good shot on camaro there camaro's actually gonna bleed out we could just kite her around in circles and eventually she'll just become unconscious but we don't really care too much because her skills aren't really anything that we need too much so yeah we're just gonna have fatsune kill her we also don't have any ammo for these throwing rocks. I kind of messed up there, but that's fine. Yeah, Camaro's moving so slowly, so it's not even going to matter. And there we go. She's dead. She dropped us some beer, too. Very nice. Let's have Fatsune pick up her body and just put it in her rolls of fat so no one sees it. Oh, Max saw it. Unfortunately, he observed a corpse. So we survived our first raid. I think it was kind of a gimme. I'm pretty sure the first one's usually really easy. Our next one should be much more difficult, so we're going to have to prepare our defenses for that. Since we have Void Storyteller, we could get raided just randomly, or we can expect a raid to be coming in the next 2.6 days. In the meantime, I think our next priority is going to be to get this Prusasaurus all chopped up. It's actually going to spoil in 21 hours as well, so let's build a butcher table, and we'll have Sabin with his three cooking butcher this thing 
up. He is allergic to cooking, so if he does it too often, then he will develop allergies, but it does take a while, and the allergies really aren't that bad unless they're just constantly cooking. So yeah, butchering this thing up is not gonna affect him too bad. With his three cooking, he's not gonna get as much yield, though I will say. He only gets 82% yield, and then our difficulty also lowers this, I believe. Oh, and then his sight also lowers it too. I wonder if we get more from someone else. Fatsune actually gives us 1% more, even though she has two less cooking, but Savin's already done. We'll just take the 1% loss, and yeah, we got a bunch of meat. A lot of lizard skin too. We should have someone cook that up and level up their cooking skill. Like, we could have Savin do that, or we could sell it off if we want to send Mac on a trade mission. Speaking of which, by the way, Mac is not in a good mood because he's greedy for an impressive bedroom, and he's naked. We could fix the naked right now, or we will once he rests up. And then, yeah, he's relaxing. His mood's actually really good now. And Savin's actually in a work frenzy. That's really good. This dude gets an 80% bonus to his global work speed for 8 days. That's going to be insane. We can have him research really fast, or we can have him just plant really fast. And I think we should probably have him just start chopping down a bunch of trees over here. I don't even really care if they're all fully grown or not. We're just going to have him just harvest these things. And yeah, he just mows through those things so quickly. And he gets so much wood. Like his greed thumb trait is so good. Like 82 wood from that thing. Oh, and this stupid dragonfly is eating our meat. It's mega urine. Uh, which like it's okay we don't need all the meat and it didn't eat that much of it it's gonna spoil in 1.7 days and you know what let's actually send mac on a trade mission i would like him to make that other tribal wear so we can give it to savant oh and the other mega urine is eating the other meat he ate like 20 more of our meat we're gonna bring that inside it's also deteriorating as well but yeah once mac's done with his tribal wear we'll send him out he doesn't really do a whole lot around base anyways like he's just been leveling up his crafting the main thing we need him for is to recruit prisoners which we have no prisoners right now so it'll be fine to send him out he made a good tribal wear by the way Way, which is pretty lucky it's actually really lucky there's only a 10 percent chance of that happening with his forge crafting skill but yeah after making that tribal wear max is going to grab all this meats he's going to grab this bedroll and he's going to go out on his own trade mission we're going to also grab all these throwing rocks too or maybe they don't actually have any value yeah never mind screw the throwing rocks just leave let's actually grab the lizards Oh, okay, and this mega urine actually hit one of our traps, and it ended up dying. That's actually pretty good for us. It's going to give us some more meat and leather, and ordinarily that'd be kind of annoying because that's a lot of wood loss, but we have so much wood over here. The Savin just chopped down these trees, and yeah, there's just tons of wood, unlimited supplies of wood for us over here. Um, we'll just chop some more trees because he's not doing anything right now. We could also have him focus on a research project. I kind of forgot that this is a thing. I think before we start doing any tech, we should build a high-tech research bench. Now, in order to build that, we need... 250 steel and in order to make steel we actually have to smelt ordinarily you can just mine it out of compacted machinery but with the resource mod we're using we actually have to smelt it which i believe we can do with this metal smelter that would make sense right it requires iron and blocks which we have a lot of marble blocks i would like to potentially not use marble for that though because we can use marble for making nice sculptures out of it in order to make more blocks we need to make a stone cutter table and i think we're just going to make our crafting room over here to the west meanwhile on the map i was not paying attention and i hope our crocodile meat does not go bad. Mac made it to the road, but he was trying to sleep, and I caught him, hopefully in time. Looks like he ate some of those berries, but the meat has not gone bad yet, and he made it, which is great. He can sell off this 372 meat for over a silver each, and then he can sell the 64 lizard skin. The question now, is there anything that they have that we want? Like, another longbow might not be bad, or like this masterwork pila could be good too. It's explosive, so there's a 10% chance to fire an explosive projectile, dealing 75% of the damage within a radius 1.4 cells. This this modifier is also really weird. It does way less damage in general, but it has more blunt damage, like a lot more. I'm not sure how that would calculate into actual damage or like, would it make it so it's easier to knock people out because it's doing blunt damage? That'd be kind of cool. It's a weapon that could take prisoners. Maybe that'd be good to pick up early on. Since it's master work, it's going to have really good range as well for a Pila anyways. At least at short range, it has really good range. It only has 19 range though, which isn't much. This is a really weird weapon and I actually kind of want to try it out. So we're going to pick it up. We could also use it as a melee weapon too, and we don't have a good melee weapon yet. So yeah, let's grab a Masterwork Pila. Meanwhile, back at base, Fatsune did finish making the crafting room. There's actually this really cool mod I have that's kind of complex. It makes it so you can prioritize certain jobs, like crafting stone blocks, for example. Because I would like Fatsune to craft stone blocks, but I 
don't want her to craft other stuff because crafting stone blocks I don't believe is really based on her crafting skill and here we go there's this job make stone blocks we're gonna have her prioritize that on like three priority so she'll craft stone blocks but she won't craft anything else that's the main thing and we're gonna have her just start crafting limestone blocks because I saw some limestone chunks over here and limestone's pretty easy material to work with for the most part it's not too tanky so we're not gonna want to use it for our walls necessarily or actually I take that back limestone is the second tankiest material if anything the material we'd want to use just as like kind of throwaway material is slate but we don't really have any slate nearby and we don't really have any sandstone either so yeah we'll just use the limestone and with 100 limestone blocks we can make a limestone metal smelter and once we're done with that we'll be able to start making steel and yeah our stone cutting speed is apparently based on crafting skill a little bit manipulation sight and global work speed I think that's a mod that I have skilled stone cutting yeah which it makes sense that that's the case I wonder if it increases her crafting skill too because I know in vanilla it doesn't for some reason which I think is stupid that crafting stone blocks does not increase your crafting skill yeah it does actually okay cool so when max back we can have him do that we actually don't need fatsune to be crafting stone blocks i mean there's not a whole lot we need fatsune to do around base right now anyways like she needs to build i guess we need to set up some more traps so the defense style i'm using over here is it's a really basic one you'll notice i have a lot of doors and essentially the doors just make it easier to rebuild the traps when raiders spring them because if we didn't have any doors here they'd have to walk over the traps to rebuild them which would be bad because our colonists could spring them um, and we got an affair, by the way. Fatsune is now Savin's lover. Savin is married to Anduin. Is, oh, that's really good, actually. Why is that a yellow event? They want a bed together, too. That's awesome, because Savin is someone that we really want to be in a good mood, and that's going to give him a bunch of mood boosts. The main thing is we need to make them a end table and then a dresser as well. I should have done that at the very start. I just forget to do that, because I always start with the tribal tech, and we never have end tables and dressers with tribal tech. But yeah, Fatsune made a good double bed, which is nice. She does have 10 construction so that's kind of what we should have expected there's a 43 percent chance it was good 40 percent chance it was normal and 12 it was excellent but yeah we're gonna move max bed over here and actually that one was normal these other two beds are good so we'll keep one of the good beds for like a prisoner when we have to make our prisoner cell and why is this cobra in our bathroom and then i move max bed over here its head is next to this end table so he gets benefit from the end table as do they dude's in a really bad mood by the way his rest is really bad recreation is really bad and food's really bad and we got aurora which is nice if people just go outside, they're going to get a huge mood boost. Mac really could use that right now. But yeah, these guys are now sleeping together. Savant gets a 10 mood opinion of his lover, which is great. We need all the mood boosts we can get for him. And also, if they do some loving, they'll get a good mood boost. That was quick, by the way. Mac wasn't gone for very long, and these guys were alone, and I guess that's really all it took. That was a quick Aurora, by the way. That only lasted like three hours. Oh, and then Mac's eating insect meat, because apparently we just ran out of food. Okay, we're going to have to wake up Savant. And hopefully you can eat the berries and then not be in a bad mood. The dude really wants an impressive bedroom. We should probably make him one just because we don't want Mac to be having mental breakdowns. It's probably going to be our next project, actually. We could just expand our base down south a bit and make him his own bedroom, and then we'll make our prisoner cell too down here somewhere. Our next project should probably be to just add on to our defenses because I don't want to lose our base just based on the fact that we didn't build enough defenses. We do have a 500% threat skill. Oh, here we go. Speaking of which, we got... Only one dude. Okay, this is maybe the main um, raid that you usually get. Wait, did he just leave? So my game's bugging out. Like, it's been bugging out a little bit. If I go too far away from my main area, like, you'll see my interface just disappears. And the dude just left. <laughs> It's like, screw this. <laughs> I've seen it happen sometimes where like the raids just won't happen, but I guess that's what happens. Like the dude just comes in and leaves. So yeah, we did get raided on day six, but the guy just left. He decided he did not have a chance, I guess. Oh, and here we go. They want to name our faction. Since Fatsune seems to be our main protagonist here, our faction's going to be called Fatsune's Fantastic Friends, and our settlement's going to be called, I don't know what this is. So this is really weird. Remember that raider that just left? Well, I guess they're back, and there's a Revy in here, and they're going to fight each other i'm so confused right now al godson got a good whack in on the revian so al godson is part of the faction that was re we got a quest by the way we'll check that out when these guys are done duking it out i don't know what's going on here though why al godson came back and uh oh, she died and the revian is just gonna leave i guess i'm so confused well that's our day six raid this girl brought us a iron pickaxe which is good it increases mining speed by 33 percent she brought us a heavy mace as well which does pretty good dps and she brought us some beer so that was nice of her on top of that she has some tainted gear this wolfskin leather armor is actually solid it gives 56 percent protection to the 
chest, which is really nice. We're going to give that to Fatsune, and that's going to increase her overall armor rating by quite a bit. Almost 30% actually, and she was able to put that on over her leather tabard and her t-shirt, so she's got a lot of chest protection. We finally got our freebie silent quest, where we get the free plus 8 honor, and we're going to accept this with Mac. Now, if we do this, since he's greedy, there's this pop-up that pops up, and it seems like it's really not a good idea to give a greedy colonist titles. It says that he'll demand the title's privileges be fully respected, and he will refuse to do certain work types or eat low-class food, which I think that's the case for everyone. It says another colonist would probably be more flexible, but we're gonna do it with Mac anyways, as I am curious to see how greedy affects this whole thing, and Mac is really good at social. Later on, once we get Mac some higher ranks, he will do speeches that can inspire other people, and those speeches are based on social skill. Manhunting larval at a spec is chasing this girl, and it doesn't seem like this thing is very quick. I'm pretty sure she can just solo it. We're gonna use this girl's ability, Blinding Pulse, as she is a royal, so she has abilities. And we're gonna have her just try to melee it. And she killed it in one hit. Yeah, okay. As you can see, that was a really hard quest. We'll send this girl on her way. And we now get a follow-up quest for Max Human Ceremony. And there's another shuttle that arrived with a bunch of people. And they now are gonna give Mac a title. He is now a human, and he has the ability Pain Block, which mainly just makes it harder for a person to go down in combat. It can be pretty useful. It also can kind of be a double-edged sword too, though, because if someone doesn't go down, then they're going to take a lot more injuries. Here we go, we're getting raided by, okay, four dudes this time. And they are all tribal, so I'm pretty sure Rimwar was messing with our raid difficulty. Because at this point in my last playthrough, I was getting raided by like five dudes with sniper rifles. We do still have the increased threat skill, but I don't think it's supposed to make it so you get raided by people that are way higher tech than you. Because yeah, our wealth is still pretty high, like we're at 18.6k wealth. I forget what we had on the last playthrough, but I don't think we were much higher than this. So the raiders are now assaulting, and we have a good start to the raid. We got a dragonfly heading into our trap. So that's going to be one last trap that we're going to be able to use. Or maybe not, it actually didn't spring the trap surprisingly. We're not going to leave our main door open, and I believe the raiders will just walk over these traps and just end themselves trying to get to Fatsune. I'm pretty sure they won't hit the door. They're actually going for that door, which is weird. Um, this guy, Lagua, though, seems to be wanting to play nicely. And there we go. This guy gave up. That guy tanked two traps, actually, so we got to have Fatsune ready, I guess. With the bow. She's got good cover. She, I don't know if she actually hit Vasulo there. Maybe we have them duke it out, by the way. If we just hit Vasala one more time, then we could knock her out. We'll get Mac ready for war here. She has a pretty good chance to hit Vasalo too. Yeah, she hit her again. Only 18% chance, actually. I guess she's got cover from the wall and the alocage on the ground. And then Becco is now shooting at us with her knives. Let's just have... Yeah, let's just let them come in. And there we go. As I thought, Becco is now going to run. We could have Fatsune run her down. Um, unfortunately, it looks like we didn't hit her in anywhere that's going to lower her movement speed too much. I mean, she is lowered. Oh, Fatsune actually got hit in the leg. That's not good. Looks like Becco might make it to the edge. I'm not really sure. Oh, okay, never mind. We killed her. Oh, and here we go. We got another quest. Failing ship. We only have 12 hours to accept it. We're going to accept the quest for the two honor, as honor is the hardest thing to come by. But yeah, so essentially with this quest, there's a shuttle that crashed, and whoa, these guys are freaking geared. Unfortunately, their weapons are bio-coded is the only thing. Here come the enemy raiders. They're really low tier, so I'm... What? What? Why are you guys not shooting? Okay, these guys have the AI of a donkey. I'm so confused. Why, like, and Pestio is just sitting there, doing nothing. So I don't actually don't know if they can solo this. I was thinking originally, like, no problem, but I'm not sure here anymore. Oh, okay, yeah, they already killed one of them, because these guys have no AI, literally. Let's hit Ralph, maybe. Oh, nice, we tagged him, he dropped his weapon. Looks like this guy might get killed, too. This is not ideal. We didn't actually lose relation with this guy dying. Holy crap, this guy died too. And we didn't lose relation with that guy dying either. Oh, and Fatsune is actually out of ammo. It's not good, but we did tag three of these guys. All three of them got hit. So we're just going to have Fatsune kite around South Town, and then Latinen is actually going for Pestio. Pestio does have a bio-coated plasma sword, though. Okay, very nice, and these guys are now running. The question now is, do we even want to pursue? I mean, we kind of do. Fatsune needs to go reload up her bow, though, is the only thing. I don't know if she's going to be able to do it in time. Because, yeah, she reloaded up her bow, and she's going to try to run these guys down. But Southtown's going to make it out for sure, I think. But Roka, though. We cut off his right leg, and his left index finger was destroyed. Dude is a tortured artist, though. Wait, this could be our artist, for sure. He doesn't even need a leg, too, if he's just going to do art. Oh, he's also got a compulsion for crafting. 
crafting. Okay, we need this guy bad. We'll just go for Roka. I don't know if we need to hit him any more times or if he'll bleed out. Because he's got five hours. He's got blood loss of minor only though. Yeah, I think we need to beat him down maybe. Yeah, I don't think we let him escape here. Batsune, just whack him. Please don't kill him. Please. Please don't kill him, Batsune. You can do this. No. But yeah, we did complete the quest, and we got this accurate combat handgun, which is actually a pretty solid weapon, at least for where we are right now. It has really low cooldown and warm-up time. It doesn't have very much range, but it has pretty good accuracy at short ranges. And it's also got the accurate modifier that gives it even more accuracy, 3% more. The only thing is, we gotta make industrial ammo for it, and I don't know if we can do that right now. As far as the other weapons that dropped, there was this bio-coated charge lance, bio-coated carbine, and that was it, actually. This guy had a chain shotgun in his inventory, but I guess it got destroyed when he died because he has this death acidifier that destroys all of his armor and I guess his weapons and his inventory as well which is unfortunate. Those raiders also brought us a hammer that's increasing Fatsune's construction speed by 33% because she's able to get these traps up really quickly. Okay and we're getting raided. What's going on with that? So those meteorites that I dropped were from a mod. Sometimes raids go wrong. There's like a really low chance that a negative event can happen for the raiders. Unfortunately, the meteorites did not hit the raiders. As these guys do have guns, Wallace has a auto pistol and Cassius has a hand cannon. I wonder if the enemy raiders have guns because there's guns on our map now. Like even though these guns are bio-coated and they have no wealth, like they're not increasing our market value or anything because they are bio-coated and bio-coated weapons do not increase market value. I may be wrong on this, but I think there's some in-game mechanic where if you have access to guns the raiders also do i'm really like only 50 percent sure on that one though if any guys know for sure then correct me in the comments but yeah here comes the raiders we did get the traps built which is good it looks like they're gonna be playing nice here and cassie's gonna walk over the traps thank you cassius oh he had some nice magic dust for us and some ammo too and he dropped his hand cannon it was a poor one though is the only thing Let's see if we can get a shot off on this guy fernanda oh. And Fernando's dead. One more coming in though, Wallace. And Wallace does have an auto pistol. We only have one trap left for Wallace though, is the only thing. So let's actually get this guy in melee after he knocks over that, after he hits that trap. Let's try to melee him. Crap, he might get a shot off on Mac though. Oh, he did. Oh, he's got a freaking elephant tusk. What the heck? Nice, he's hitting Fatsune though, which is really good. And we knocked him out. Very nice. Dude is really good at animals. He has 14 in animals. He is lazy though, which lowers global work speed. That doesn't matter too much though, I think, when dealing with animals. Also has an annoying voice, which does give him more movement speed. He actually was moving quicker. Let's capture Wallace here and let's see how much resist he's got. Because yeah, we could actually use someone that's got good animal skill. Dude's only got 12 resist. Okay, yeah, let's definitely recruit Wallace. Hey, Fatsune, are you... Did she just poop in his prisoner cell? Yeah, she did. She just took a dump in her prisoner cell. Fatsune. <laughs> That's disgusting. Okay, well that just made this room extremely dirty. That's not gonna be good. He might get his wounds infected. We're gonna have Savin come over here and clean up the poo. And we'll have Savin actually do the tending while Fatsune works on his room. We still have a floor that we need to floor in, which is making the room pretty dirty, the fact that we haven't completely floored it in. I will say everyone in our colony is actually pretty decent at medical. Like, Savin's got six, Fatsune has six, and Mac has three, but he's got a burning passion for it. So there's no lack of medics in the colony, that's for sure. From that raid, though, I will say we did get a good amount of ammo. There was around 20 bit that dropped over here, and then this poor auto pistol still has 36 ammo inside of it. So we're gonna eject all that ammo, and then we're gonna load it up in this good combat handgun so Fatsune is going to have a really good short range weapon which is going to be nice and then she's got the bow for long range and that's not good it looks like one of Wallace's injuries got infected his leg I think we should be able to save it though if we use this herbal medicine that we have and there's a bunch more on the map like it's not hard to come by herbal medicine in this jungle I really hope she uses the herbal medicine on his infection by the way because he's got a bunch of other injuries that still need tending please don't waste this on a crappy injury okay very nice 50% 10 on the left leg yeah that's really good I think this dude should definitely survive there is a bit lower cleanliness in the room because we got a really primitive bathroom connecting to it and there's nothing we can really do about that if we want our prisoners to have access to a bathroom we have to just separate it off with the stall door which doesn't really technically separate the room it just makes it so people can't see inside the bathroom when they're taking a dump or whatever if we put a regular door here then the prisoners would not even be able to use the bathroom and they just pee everywhere on the floor I will say what we probably should have done is while this guy had injuries that could have gotten infected we should have just walled off this bathroom like he still does have a few more more. Like there's a cut on his arm, cut on his torso, he's got like a stab on his foot. I think that can also get infected. But overall his immunity is now beating his infection, which it was not the case before. The immunity is at 11%, the infection's only at 10. We do have to retend it though in 12 hours, so we're gonna have to get some more herbal medicine for that. But yeah, like you can see I added a regular door behind the stall door, and now the room is completely clean. Oh, and we're getting a man hunting pack. Where are you guys going though? Wait, they just left? I'm so confused. 
My UI is bugging out again, but yeah, they just left. Okay. Oh, okay, we're getting raided. Oh, wait, this is good. Go inside. Yes. Wait, this is so perfect. So we're getting our day 12 raid. I didn't even realize, but it's actually right on day 12. And we got our manhunting pack right before the raid. So please don't try to knock the steel door down. I mean, even if it does try to knock it down, we can have that soon to just repair it. Wait, I gotta make sure everyone's inside. Is everyone accounted for? Where is Mac? Mac is not inside. He was out collecting some herbal medicine. Oh, crap. And this thing... So this could actually be bad. Mac was not inside. He was out collecting some herbal medicine. Oh, yep. One of the Ebex does is actually going for him. Or wait. No, it's not. Okay, phew. It was heading down this way like it was going for him, but... They're just going to be chilling right outside of our base area. There's some kind of weird bug going on. Like, I can't right-click. Dude, it's got to be the textures mod, man. I'm going to try to disable this thing. Okay, wait. Disabling the mod did not break everything. I thought it would because the world map looked a bit different, I think. And then, like, here's our map now. It looks a lot less cool, you could say. But I'm hoping those glitches are not going to happen anymore. I can move Mac around again, which is nice. I could not move him around for a bit. We now have three manhunting Ebex does just chilling outside of our base. And they're not going to try to attack our walls. Or they did earlier but they saw someone go inside and if they do then they'll beat on the door for a little bit sometimes they'll beat on it till it gets destroyed don't hit the trap you idiot i need you guys healthy to help fend off these raiders they're gonna attack us oh and here we go these guys are actually fighting did they kill one of the oh they already killed one of the does that's not good they're kind of just ganging up on them and the does are not being very smart with their tactics here oh and they're actually going for mac now we're gonna have to have fatsune come out here and save him she does have her combat handgun though and her bow so we're gonna start bowing at these guys and arlene is aggro on us now only um it's only her though the rest of these guys are going for mac which is weird mac is not that close to these guys we're gonna have mac just run i guess and there we go another one of them de off of mac oh nice we killed one of them too that's really good and two of them are on mac this actually worked out so well i didn't have very good hopes for it because we had no traps made so if that's soon do a little kiting maybe take out the combat handgun just pump a few shots in this guy. We don't want to- Oh, we killed that guy quickly. I was about to say, we don't want to waste too much ammo, and she did not waste ammo there. But yeah, here they come. Let's see if Fatsune can hit some shots here. Oh, nice, she hit the first one. She has a 39% chance to hit. It's actually lower if she's trying to run a gun. What we should have done is had Mac just- Oh, nice, she had another shot. We should have had Mac just try to, like, kite these guys. Let's actually just pull out the combat handgun. Take care of this quickly. Oh, there we go. We killed her. And then Chantel's gonna run. Chantel's actually bleeding really bad. She's gonna die in three hours. So we're gonna have Fatsune just follow her. And let's see, is she gonna make it? She's got severe blood loss. It's going up really quickly. It's at 55, 56. I don't know if it's gonna be enough though. It's the only thing. We might have to beat her down because she's getting really close to the edge. Oh, there we go. Never mind. We're not going to strip her for her gear as she had some really nice stuff. And do we try to save her? She is a masochist, I will say, which is a nice trait for a melee character because they're always going to be taking damage. And when she's in pain, she's going to get mood buffs instead of mood penalties. She is a slow learner, though, which is not ideal. It lowers her learning rate by quite a bit. Then again, we did shoot off her left arm and her toe. And that's gonna give her huge penalties of combat. Yeah, let's just let her die. These pants that she had were actually really good. We're gonna give those to Fatsune. Meanwhile, we're actually getting a ton of resist down from talking to Wallace. Max intimidating trait plus his 10 social is really helping out. Cause yeah, Wallace has an 80 opinion of him. Mac doesn't like Wallace at all. Cause I guess he's disfigured and has an annoying voice. I mean, he's not permanently disfigured. He just has a lot of injuries. Those will all heal though. I'm not sure why he doesn't like him for that. His infection is also extreme by the way, but his immunity is at 96. We got a 30% 10 and that was enough. We had Savant Tendum and one thing I forgot about Savant is that even though he does have 6 medical, he does have a scratch car in his left eye and that really affects his 10 quality. Because 10 quality is pretty affected by sight, his 10 quality is only 70%. Whereas Fatsune, who has the same amount of medical, has an 80% 10 quality. But yeah, he automatically tended Wallace while Fatsune was out fighting. Oh and Roga, by the way, has enough friends now to be recruited. Mac has done a good job at talking to Roga. I didn't explain what was going on with her. She's a visitor and Gray also just became our visitor, and we got a visitor room down here, which we should move all this crap out of the room. So with the hospitality mod, when you have a guest enter your territory, the first thing you want to do is try to entertain them and try to create friendships, and then there's also this job, entertain. And since Mac has decent social and he's also intimidating, that improves his ability at being able to do that. And by the way, we got a quest. There's an item stash that it said was not too far away, but yeah, that's actually really far away. We're gonna have to go through tons of mountain tiles to get over here, like we'd have to probably go 
this way, then loop up here maybe, then hit these tiles. Because we can't go directly there. There's a bunch of impassable terrain. Yeah, I don't think we're going to make it to that item stash. There is a Mechanite Repair Gel there, which will repair a damaged item, but we don't really care about that too much. But yeah, so since we've successfully entertained Roga, we could potentially recruit her. If we do this though, we do damage our relation with her faction is the only thing. And like, she's not that good. I mean, she does have a burning passion for art, which is nice. And she's too smart, so she'd learn art really quickly. But she is greedy, so she'd want to impress a bedroom. And we don't want another person that's greedy, I don't think. Our other guest is Gray, who does not seem that good. I mean, she can cook and she can plan as well, but her traits just don't seem that good. We will still entertain her though. And I believe if they have a good stay, they will leave us stuff potentially. Oh, and Gray enjoyed her stay. Not that much though. We only got a 69 score with her. She left us one wood. That was very nice of her. So we skinned those manhunting does we killed earlier for some meat. And we can combine that with this plant meat that we got from skinning a man trap. We're going to combine its plant meat plus this regular meat into kibble. And it's nice that we were able to use that plant meat because people did not like eating that. At least not when it's raw. They get a mood debuff for eating it raw. But they don't from eating berries. So we want to save all the berries we can. And yeah, we were able to make a lot of kibble out of that. 250, which is good because Wallace over here is actually about to join us. He's only got four resists left. And once he does, we're going to send this guy out to try to tame all the animals on the map that we can. Because yeah, he's got 14 animals. Oh, okay. And we're getting raided. And we lost relation with... Oh, is this nearby fashion? Salt flat. We were really hostile with them anyways. Come on, dude. These bugs always do this right when I'm getting raided. Oh, and here comes another one too. And I can't even build a trap. I have to move this thing out of the way. I mean, it's not that bad. I think we'll have time to build these traps, but it's like there's some kind of AI built into these bugs or animals in general where when we get raided, they go directly for the traps. Okay, we're getting raided again. So those guys, wait, are they? hostile with each other? I think they are. Yeah, they are. Nice. This is actually working out really well for us because we're on day 15 now. And so we got our automatic raid that happens every three days. And then we got the storyteller raid, I believe. I think the built-in raid every three days does not impact the storyteller's raid because yeah, I don't think it would be sending us two raids at once like it is right now. This girl over here, by the way, has really nice goggles and they hit this Titanus, which may have been a really bad idea. This thing revenged and it's now manhunting. And by the way, this girl has a really nice pistol. I need to make sure that no one's up here, and that everyone's inside. And then, okay, we can go back to watching the action. I really hope Sage gets knocked out and we can take that advanced pistol. And she doesn't run. Nice, she's getting meleeed down by this Titanus. And the Titanus is not even injured that bad. It's gonna win. It will bleed out in nine hours though, I will say. Oh, and this girl died, unfortunately. So her goggles are tainted, but we can still use those on Fatsune, so that's fine. I just wanted her pistol. And by the way, they dropped a ton of ammo, so that's really nice. Dur Ward also, by the way, got knocked out. And he has rapid aging. And that's from the Sometimes Raid Goes Wrong mod. I want to explain this mod really quick. So on a roll of one to four, a negative event for the Raiders can happen. On a roll of five to 20, the Raid goes ahead normally. So there's a really low chance, a 20% chance that something negative can happen for the Raiders. And like the meteorites, we already saw that that wasn't even a negative event really. If we capture the prisoners though, the progress of the mechanites can be halted with good medicine. If untreated though, the mechanites can cause permanent damage, effectively aging the subject several years in a matter of hours. And yeah, the dude's already 50 years old. Is he any good though? Eh, he's okay. I mean, he's got 12 shooting. It's locked though, so that's all he's ever going to be able to get. He's a hard worker for more global work speed, but he doesn't really have anything we care about. Like, we don't really care about another planter. So yeah, I don't think we try to save the guy. The only thing we really care about is this apron that'd be really nice to pick up. It increases global work speed and general labor speed, and we'd rather not wait for him to bleed out before we yoink this from him. He does only have four hours though, so I don't know. We'll see if the Titanus can finish off these raiders and then not turn on us, I guess. These guys are beginning their assault, but yeah, the Titanus is coming for them. I don't think they know that it's manhunting. It is severely injured, but it's still moving at 68%. Its HP is still really high, and yeah, it's gonna be destroying Amelia, it looks like. I mean, it's missing her a lot. There we go, hit her twice. It's only got six hours left though, holy cow. It's got so many injuries. Shattered her nose, and it knocked her out. She any good by the way? She actually be a good researcher because she has more global work speed. Oh, and the Titanus finally went down. RIP the Titanus. We got Laxon coming in here, the final raider. And is she gonna go around our defenses? Oh, I forgot to open a door to our base. Okay, we open that door. She should now try to get inside. I mean, she's attacking our granite wall for now, just because she didn't know a way in the base. And then, yeah, now she's coming for our main choke point area, which obviously is not gonna be that good for her. She's about to run over a trap. 
There's one, two. She's gonna tank. Three, she's gonna tank. She must have some flak armor or something. She had some flak pants, some good ones, and a excellent flak vest. That's really good. All right, well, Fatsune just got some fat upgrades. We're gonna strip her from that armor. And then, nice, we actually just researched steel alloying, by the way, which is required for us to be able to smelt steel. Oh, very nice. Wallace finally joined us. I mean, I say finally, but it didn't take the dude that long. We're going to have him grab some of this kibble. His mood's actually in not a bad spot. And we're going to have him go try to train up some animals. Before we watch him do that, I just want to go over the aftermath of this raid. So this girl, Sage, that we're currently standing on, had these goggles. We're going to put those on. And I believe, yeah, she's going to have to take off her helmet. Fatsune is going to lose the 34% protection to her head that she was getting from her iron plate helmet. But it was also lowering her shooting accuracy slightly. These ballistic goggles are going to give her a ton of protection to her eyes not to her head but they also do lower aiming time by 10 percent this girl also had an advanced pistol which does fire burst shot counts of three and has semi-decent range 24 range this is a pretty decent weapon it just doesn't have much armor pen it also can hold a lot of ammo 115 and yeah we just picked up a bunch of industrial ammo which is nice the other two pistols don't have any ammo in them but this other advanced pistol has a ton 79 ammo in that thing we're gonna grab all of that let's grab this beer too and that's it for this gear the rest this stuff's all tainted and then meanwhile over here somebody already actually grabbed the titanus they're heading to butcher it right now but there is a sawed off shotgun that was dropped and this thing does have some industrial ammo in it 50 industrial ammo i'm not sure if this is gonna be better than our pistol looks like it might be in certain situations like it has a lot of armor pen and it does fire in burst shot counts of two it's just the accuracy is terrible so i'm not really sure i mean we could just grab it anyways i'm gonna grab the beer as well this girl also has a military beret which gives some protection to the head and it increases is shooting accuracy by 0.1 and she can use that with her goggles so that'll be a nice combo meanwhile wallace over here is he's a night owl okay that might be bad because at night animals want to sleep Oh, we're getting a black hive attack. That's not good. And we got these black hive insects that are coming for us. I mean, these things aren't that strong from what I've seen. Oh, nice. We tamed one of the aves. We're going to Wallace now and go back to base. The aves make for really good mounts, and I'll talk more about those in a bit once we deal with this raid. Okay, so we got this black spider coming in first, and the thing about this black spider is it does have range, and it's actually going right for Fatsune. I'd like to stay out of its range if at all possible. When our doors open, this actually could be really good. Nice. It's going to go for our traps. That's what we want. Oh, and Fatsune got hit. Crap, get outside of its range. Oh, that sucks, it immediately hit Fatsune. Here comes another bug. These things are really tanky though. They're not getting hurt that bad from these traps. I mean, although I will say we did hurt the black spider pretty bad. And here we go. Fatsune is going to use her pistol to shoot at this spielipede, which does have range, I guess. Black spielipede has range. That's scary. There's a bunch more bugs coming in too going to be a little bit sketchy. We need to take out the Spielipede ASAP. It's going for Savant, who was doing a berry run. Oh, crap. We need to just have Fatsune charge this Black Spider, I think, even if it hits her a few more times. Like, she's really not in cover here, but there's more insects coming, so I don't know. If she gets hit, then it's just what we got to deal with. We should take this thing out soon, right? And crap, there's another insect coming for our main base area. We're going to have Savant close our door. Before. Okay, never mind. That thing got taken out. It's injured really bad. I'm surprised it's not going down. I mean, it's going to go down in eight hours. Well, Fatsune just kite a little bit, I guess. One thing I will say about Fatsune that's really nice is her ability to be able to just not have a mental breakdown. Because, yeah, she's got so many negative moodlets right now. She ate kibble, apparently. So this mammoth worm looks pretty terrifying, but it's really not. Let's actually take out the sawed-off shotgun, get really close to it, and just blast this thing in the face. I'm pretty sure this weapon has really good armor pen. Yeah, so the sawed off shotgun has 27% armor pen, whereas the advanced pistol only has 12%. So I think the sawed off shotgun is going to be our weapon of choice against this mammoth worm. We've only hit it three times, by the way, and it's pretty injured already. It just doesn't have that much HP, not as much as it looks. So yeah, we did fend off that raid. Our Abe is fine too. The Spielipede has been chasing it around for quite some time. It's going to bleed out in 13 hours though. We tagged it a few times. We're just having the Abe just kite this thing away from our base because yeah, it's got range. Might as well just not risk it tagging anyone and we'll just let it bleed out chasing the Abe. Oh, very nice. We had Wallace tame this shock goat. And these shock goats are really cool. They can electrocute enemies. And I just realized why we're not planting. 
and we're not getting food. So all this rice has been ready to harvest for I don't even know how long. But I separated off this growing field a little bit and I made a bathroom and the growing zone went inside the bathroom. So we have this rice plant inside the bathroom that we've been harvesting. But since we added this wall here, it separated off the growing zone. So we had no growing zone on our rice, therefore Savant would not harvest it. And yeah, that's why we've had food problems and people have been eating kibble. Which speaking of kibble, by the way, we're getting a ton of insect meat from butchering up those insects. Like we just got a ton of black insect chitin as well. It looks like all the black insects that raided us can be skinned for this material. And this material is really tanky. It gives 175% shard protection. I was going to say we could have Mac try to craft something out of it, but he's only got five crafting. From doing stone cutting pretty much full time, he's not getting much crafting skill. I'm pretty sure he gets way more from actually crafting stuff. I just don't know what we should have him craft though right now. This kind of sucks. Mac went on an insulting spree. His mood's not even that bad either. We're gonna arrest him though. We had a 90% chance for that to work. And uh, crap, we gotta actually fully arrest him, I think. But yeah, he becomes our prisoner. He's 34 resist. And I didn't actually know this like when I first started playing, but you can just straight up release him and he rejoins our colony. He does get a negative 10 mood loot for six days though from being in prison, but I don't really care about that too much. Like if he has another mental breakdown, at least it probably won't be insulting spree. That's like the worst one, I think, because it pisses off your other colonists. And here we go. We got some raiders. Ooh, it looks like a lot of them. What? the heck? I mean, on the bright side, they are kind of low tier, I guess. But yeah, this is looking a bit rough. All right, well, here the raiders come. We're going to have Hatsune just do her best, I guess. This guy's taking shots, though. What kind of armor does he have? I mean, he just has a pelt coat and a tribal wear. I'm surprised he's tanking so hard. Oh, he's got a god trait or a heroic trait that increases armor by quite a bit. So that's why he's not wanting to go down. That being the case, we're actually doing pretty good damage to him then because we are hitting him some at least by the way i will say one thing that's kind of bad for this raid is we don't have all of our traps built like two people actually already got taken out do what the god trade did and yeah these guys want to pillage by the way i'm not sure exactly oh, okay so they're gonna steal our stuff that we have on the ground which is fine and we got a quest and a mad tortoise at the same time how many tortoises are mad I don't know. I don't think it's going to matter. They're just tortoises. Okay, these guys are going to try to steal our stuff. They don't care even about attacking us. So that's why they came with so much strength. It's actually really good that we have so much crap on the ground. Like, we have a lot of wood. I don't think they stole any wood, though. They stole our bed that we had just lying around. I think it was a bedroll. It was actually a good one, too. So it's kind of unfortunate that that person jacked that. See, I'm not sure what's causing the disappearing UI bug every once in a while and can't move our character. But I don't think it's a textures mod. It's just weird because that's one of the only ones that I've installed recently that I could think of that would be affecting things. Maybe the metals mod? I was looking at the comments under those mods and I wasn't seeing anything, so I'm just not sure. If anyone has any idea, please let me know and I'll look into it. I'd rather not have to go through my entire mod list and enable slash disable mods until I figure out what's causing the problem. But but yeah, so the question is, do we want to try to make this girl bleed out? She'd be a good researcher, and she'd be good at social. She just can't fight. I don't think we really care too much. We're just going to blast her. Uh, maybe we didn't have to hit her with a sawed-off shotgun, but oh well. Okay, and we're getting raided again. This is not as many people, though. Well, look at these freaking events, by the way. We got an enemy raid, mass animal insanity. That was the tortoise manhunting event, which didn't even do anything, I don't think. So yeah, we got the raid, the insanity, and then we have another pillage raid over here. And uh, we're on day 18, so we're getting our raid that we get every three days. And we'll be fighting that raid in the next episode, as well as we'll be setting up our electrical system. I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.